if you want to take your business and you want to grow, you should be looking to do a unique setup. What's up guys, it's DJ Rick Webb and welcome back to the channel. I haven't filmed one of these type of episodes in a while. This is DJ Talk. It's where I just sit down here in front of the camera and we talk about a topic that I, I want to discuss. Today's topic is, I, I don't know, I, I really don't want to put this information out there because it kind of leads into why I, how I'm like taking my business, but it's something that's just really irritating me in the DJ business right now. Let's, let's talk about it. Today's topic is why facades are absolutely stupid. I'm gonna jump right into it. Facades are great. They look clean, they hide your gear, they're easy, they're great. As you guys know, I, I've, I've gone away from facades. I now use the ADJ Event Table 2 and Event Table 1 for most of my gigs. And this was done purely on purpose. And the reason is because Everyone is using a facade right now. Like everyone, everyone has a damn facade or they have the facade that goes on top of the table. Everyone has one. And you're probably wondering, well yeah, Ricky, it's the standard. Everyone has a facade, blah, blah, blah. No, you should be unique. You should be yourself. How are you going to compare yourself to someone else that has the exact same thing as you? Let me put it to you guys this way because this is probably how DJs would understand. I'm gonna explain it in terms of speakers. So the whole facade thing right now is like, okay, you got company A and company B. You're looking to buy speakers. Company A is JBL. They have the JBL SRX 815P. Awesome speaker. Company B is EV. They have the EV ETX 15P. These speakers practically almost look the same. They're really comparable in terms of output and their sound output is pretty much the same. So from looking at them, they look the same. You see how hard it is for each one of those companies, JBL and EV, to be like, my speaker is better than that person's speaker because of what? It's really hard. There's, there's a lot to compare. There's a lot to contrast. And if you see both those speakers out in the wild, it's really hard for you to tell which one is which if you don't really know what you're looking for specifically. You might be like, oh, they got a JBL or EV up there. Now think about it this way. You have JBL selling the JBL SRX A15P, and you have EV with the Evolve 50s. Completely different looking speaker. Looks clean, looks sexy, bulky, big speaker, old school looking. It is a lot easier to distinguish between those two speakers, especially if you see them out at an event. You can see them clearly. So imagine that like your facade argument. You go out to an event and you see a DJ there with a facade. Oh, it's just the normal average DJ again. You go out to the event and you see the ADJ event table or you see one of Jason Janai's amazing booths with the mirrors. They instantly stand out. They're instantly distinguishable. And that is how you establish a brand as a company. And it's something I think a lot of younger DJs are falling into the traps of facades. It's not really just facades. I feel like in general, all DJ sets are starting to look the same. And it's really, there's no more originality. Like, you guys should be looking for originality. You should be looking to be very creative. Literally, I, I'm gonna say it again. Jason Janai, look at Jason Janai's setups. Look at what he's doing compared to his competitors. It's completely different. He's being unique. He's being different with his setups, with what he's bringing to the table. Everything about like his business and model right now is we're different. That is so big when it comes to building a business in a city and building a brand. Now I will say, if you are an average DJ and you're just trying to be an average DJ and you don't have any intention of like going for the upper scale market, raise your rates and charge higher and get the high scale paying customers, uh, you probably could get away with just sticking with a facade because you're gonna look like the average DJ, you're gonna be the average DJ, you're gonna get the average DJ price. If you're trying to go for the upper scale market, personally, you can't be using a facade at your events. It's just not gonna work. Not more or less that it, you won't be able to charge the money. You'll be able to do it. You can charge the money, but you're not gonna be as successful because you're not gonna have that established brand factor behind your look. I think I pretty much made my point here. I believe that facades are stupid because everyone is looking the same. There's no uniqueness anymore. No one is being creative. No one's building booths. Uh, some people are, don't get me wrong, some people are out there. Jason Janna, building booths, doing crazy stuff. DJ Toad, got the Toadmatic booth. It's sick, it's awesome, it's creative, it's new. But seriously, especially now going into 2020, social media is huge. Pictures are everywhere, and pictures 
if your setups look completely different, you will be distinguishable. You'll be able to establish that brand factor. And my buddy Nick Spinelli made a whole YouTube video about putting your logo on your like laptop and putting your logo on display at weddings. It's not like one of those things you should shy away from because that's a brand. The millennials now that are purchasing don't want to walk up and be like, hey, can I have your business card? They'd rather see FSL, Nick Spinelli, DJ Rick Webb, DJ Marcellus though, and be able to just go on Instagram, search for that, find you, and then contact you later. Maybe look through your profile and see your like how you do stuff. So originality, being creative, and having unique looking setups is something that I think every DJ should be trying to do. You should not be trying to emulate other people unless like I said that's what you're trying to do if you're a beginner DJ and you're trying to just get to the average level maybe emulating someone like the average DJ setup with a facade and scrims you're gonna look like the average DJ so you can actually take yourself from the beginner level to the average setup I'm mostly talking to all the average guys out there the guys that are doing this every single weekend or every other weekend if you want to take your business and you want to grow you should be looking to do a unique setup. So I hope this video wasn't too rambly. Again, this was DJ talk, me just sitting down in front of the camera talking about a subject and a matter that I wanna talk about and bring to your guys' attention. I really encourage you guys, leave down in the comment section below what your thoughts, your feelings are on facades, unique setups, Jason Janai, Nick Spinelli, all those guys in the industry, Joe Bunn, my buddy over in Raleigh. Uh, all these guys are trying to do very creative things in the industry and I really want to hear your guys' feedback. Let's have a great discussion down in the comment section down below. Blow up the comment section. I want to see it. I'm going I'm to heart every single one of you guys. Like always, I'll answer questions if you guys got any questions on my thoughts, my feelings. And that's also why I don't do setup reviews because everyone should try and do their own unique thing. I should not be judging you based on if you're doing the same setup as me. That's my personal opinion. That's just everything. That's why I don't put scrims on my trust. That's not what we're trying to push. That's not the brand. That's not the image. We're trying to be different, unique. Be unique. Be different. Establish a brand. This is just like business 101 guys and a lot of guys don't know a lot about business that get into DJing. So that's my biggest tip for you guys. This was DJ Talk. I've been rambling. I've been talking a lot. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to slap that like button. Slap it comment section blow it up blow up the comment section and if you're not already subscribed to this youtube channel whether i pissed you off or i maybe enlightened you and you got excited you're like thinking now your brain's turning on different setup ideas or you've been thinking about doing it but you don't want to do it because everyone uses a facade and that should be the standard subscribe that i'm trying to i want to educate some people i want to push some content on here i want to discuss with you guys and have a little bit of a discussion on this channel that's what this content is for that's what video form is for it's for content for conversation and to start subjects and discussions to enlighten and add dj education and knowledge into this community my name is dj Rick Webb. keep them record spinning guys i will see you guys with another amazing video sometime next week because we drop a new video at least one every single week on this channel so peace 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 out